Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. I want to talk about what you should be working on today, every day, for the rest of your career as a UI UX designer, as a product designer, as an aspiring designer. It doesn't matter what goals or what projects and things you're working on. These are some things that you should always be thinking about in your mind and working on these daily. And this is about sharpening your blade, keeping your bonfire high. And when I reference bonfire, what I mean is bonfire, think of a bonfire as your value, your skills, your interest in the marketplace. Think of it as a bonfire. If you don't do these things, the bonfire will actually go down to a simmer. And that's when you become a commodity within this industry. Three things you should be focused on daily. Number one, always take time out, 15 minutes out of your day, 15, 20 minutes a day out of your day to learn a particular skill, a visual, to, to fine tune your visual UI design skills, okay? High quality, top notch visual UI design skills is a must in keeping yourself as a rock star product designer, okay? doesn't matter if you understand the UX design methods and philosophies, you want to make sure your visual UI design skills is sharpened and very fine-tuned. How do you do that? Every day, go to Dribble or go to Pinterest, type in UI designs and grab something. There's millions of these mock-ups and screenshots out on the web today. Grab one of them. Okay, does it matter? Grab one and identify, you wanna grab one that vis that's so visually appealing to you. Okay, you're gonna do this like every day. And go into that particular screenshot and mimic one particular style or something, whether it's the, the contrast of the font type, the contrast of the color of this particular box. In a lot of cases, sometimes it may be a drop shadow, um, a, a, a fine drop shadow approach that they apply to this box or 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 this this container or something or this button that just made it like visually appealing to you you want to try to mimic that particular skill set that particular item in terms of visual UI design okay now there's millions of things you just want to spend 15 20 minutes out of your day just learning one particular thing once you learn that thing check it off as you know what I sharpen my blade for today tomorrow I'll do the same thing and, and grab something else it's not about completing the project it's just making sure every day every week that you're in tune with fine-tuning your visual UI design skills okay that's highly important number two every day you should be thinking about or outlining a particular concept for a personal project okay it's not about starting on the project is just coming up with a concept okay you want to think about concept and if you have multiple you write them down um, I'll give you an example and these needs to be like quality concept projects what I mean by that is you want to think about like I want to improve the user experience on my online banking you know something like that that's a concept and you you can start maybe every day you every day do this every other day to start Sketching out, just brainstorm. You just want to brain dump ideas out on a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be in line, it doesn't have to be linear, it doesn't have to be a sketch of the actual interface. It's just I want to make I want to improve the the I want to improve the experience on online banking. Why? And you wanna talk about you wanna kind of just maybe one sentence write out the problem statement, you know. It's difficult to deposit checks or something like that, right? It's difficult to view my my um, my 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 balance or something like that. It's it's clunky in terms of paying my bills online for my credit card statement or whatever. The reason is you always want to be focused on creating new personal projects, and we do this. It will kick you. It will kickstart you into actually starting to work on that project okay so always be thinking about personal projects if you have one focus in on that and work on that every day so number one was fine-tune your visual UI design skills two 
personal projects. Out, come up with some ideas every single day on a good personal project. Number three, always be peeking into the market. You want to have Indeed as you want to download the app Indeed.com and look and see what jobs are out there. Doesn't matter, you're not maybe in the market right now. You probably had a job for a year and you love it, it's okay, stay in the market. You don't ever want to get to a situation where you're at a job for five years and you don't have a clue on even how to use these systems because you loved your job so much you never even looked in the marketplace, you never even fiddled and seen what's out there. You want to be on the top of the market. You want to be on top of these terms that people are using. Maybe now they're using, instead of UI designer, they're using UX designer. Maybe instead of UX designer, they're using product designer. Maybe instead of product designer, they're, they're now have a title of product UI UX designer. They're looking for that. You want to always be aware of what's going on in the market, who's hiring, what are they hiring, who are they looking for, are they looking for researchers? Are they looking for UI designers? Are they looking for graphic designers? Are they looking for product designers? What type of companies are out there? Okay, it doesn't matter if you're actually in the market and wanting to put your resume out there, maybe you will. Maybe a job that you've always wanted is now hiring in your area, in your city. And you're like, dang, I want to go after that. Even if you don't get the job, the actual actions of getting your resumes together and submitting that resume will keep you keep your blade so sharpened and keep you afloat that if anything ever happens to your job or you want to leave or you want to bounce or you want to do this or you want to do that you're not this you don't have to brush off the dust in terms of the effort it takes for you to get yourself back into the marketplace your blade will be, have been so sharpened that you don't even miss a beat when it comes to going after jobs and putting your resumes out there and, and looking at and how to look at folks. So you wanna to go to Indeed and always be activate, active in your LinkedIn. Not active in terms of, of, of commenting on LinkedIn, but just know what's going on with LinkedIn. Okay, know how recruiters are, 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 are working with that system and, and using that system to reach out to you and things like that. If you do those things, sharpen your visual UI design skills, Always be thinking about personal projects because that's, you can build per, strong personal projects. It, it's highly valuable in terms of landing recruiters and landing opportunities. And three, always be looking at the job market. Always be looking at what's out in Indeed and what's on LinkedIn and how to activate those things. If you do that, do that daily. Do it daily, always be grinding in those areas. You're basically sharpening your skills. That's my thoughts today. Hopefully this was helpful, guys. Talk soon. Peace.